What's up, real deal? We got a woman. She is sentenced to life in prison in the death of a real estate agent named Mon uh, Monique Bog. Let's see, why did she kill her? daughter Monique was murdered, this time for Elsa Segura, who was convicted of aiding and abetting first-degree murder, for calling Monique to set up a phony house showing so that two men could kidnap the realtor, torture her, and kill her. She could have been a hero. She could have warned Monique. She could have warned her that that showing was fake. Wanda noted in her victim impact statement at Segura's sentencing, that the defendant, who survived the 35W bridge collapse in her youth and went on to become a probation officer, showed no emotion in her She sure not. Segura was among just a few people in the courtroom with a dry eye when Wanda shared this. Monique's oldest daughter, Legend, said to me a couple weeks ago, she said, she said that she wants to die. Oh, and my I God. Said, no, baby, you know if you say that. Mm. She said, because I want to see my mommy. That's right. Say it. And she said, you can bring me flowers. Hmm. And then later she was referring to the time that we bring Monique flowers to her grave. By law, Judge Peter Cahill had to give Segura a life sentence, just like he did the two men who actually killed Monique. But he added that Segura deserves it. Because you could have stopped this from happening. That's right. Elsa Segura's boyfriend, Lyndon Wiggins, is set for trial in May. Police believe he orchestrated the plot to kidnap Monique to try to find her boyfriend, with whom Wiggins was feuding. The fourth defendant set for trial is Shante Davis, the sister of one of the killers and girlfriend of the other accusers. That's sad. And y'all, the sad part about it, I remember I was telling y'all that they ought to go, they are going to go back in these trials from back in 2000. And, and six on up to uh, 2017, they're going to go up to all oh, This happened in 2018. They still haven't had the trial, but the lady is sentenced to life in prison for setting up. She played a part of setting up Monique and her boyfriend. It's a whole lot of mess. This happened in a minute. Uh, uh, the nipple and um, she was the register. And it's it's sad, man. I said goodnight and I love you to my daughter Monique Bell for the last time. This is Monique mother. She's so beautiful. An emotional statement from the mother of Monique Bell as two of her killers are sentenced to life in prison. Good evening and thank you for joining us tonight. And I'm Amy Hawker. Monique, a Minneapolis realtor, was kidnapped and murdered after she was lured to a fake house showing in Maple Grove. Fox 9's Paul Bloom joins us live tonight. So, Paul, two of the men involved here will spend the rest of their lives in prison. Amy, those two men, Cedric Berry and Berry Davis, part of a much larger, frightening, and murderous conspiracy that really rocked Minneapolis some 20 months ago. And they oh, it's Minneapolis. And killed local realtor Monique Bow. Now, all this time later in that emotion-filled and tension-filled courtroom. You can tell the loss of Monique continues to weigh heavy on her family today, telling me they would take a slight bit of satisfaction out of these life sentences, but explaining that nothing will bring the young woman back. Monique did not have to die. I didn't have to throw her out like she was garbage either. My baby was so precious, so precious to me. So all of us, all of us, she was so valuable. How dare they? Monique Bow's mom telling Judge Peter Cahill in the court that her daughter came face to face with pure evil on New Year's Eve 2020. Monique's two babies, not without a mother, a truly awesome, a beautiful mom who had a giant heart and electric smile. According to Wanda Williams, 
house during her agonizing victim impact statement. The Hennepin County jury convicted the two defendants, Barry Davis and Cedric Berry, on a handful of charges, including first degree. Well, you see how they did. Ain't everybody sitting up in the court. Ain't nobody got no tear in their eye. The girl didn't have no tear. And these two men, who had to do that to that woman? Y'all will be ashamed of yourself. Excuse me, y'all. I'm getting excited. And the horrific slang of the real estate agent, which apparently was part of a larger conspiracy to get at her boyfriend and the father of Monique's children over some kind of dispute connected to the music industry. According to evidence, the oh, trial, Lord. Monique Bowers lured to a bogus home showing kidnapped in the back of a U-Haul truck, tortured, and then executed. Her body tossed out into a North Minneapolis back alley. And what happened was, since he, since he was in the music thing, what happened was, allegedly, he didn't do right, and then they took his wife. This is sad. This was a setup. If I can't get you, I'm going to get you somebody you love. Oh, wow. Possibility of release. And I also would just like to say sorry. Sorry. Something that I thought I would never say. But here I sit, a condemned man sitting in the same seat as Derek Chauvin, a man who killed someone in front of the world. And I'm about to receive life without the world for a few fingerprints. And they said, a few fingerprints they said were mine on some, death, on some tape and some cell phones. And he's apologized and he's not apologizing. One other important point from the courtroom today, Judge Peter Cahill actually tacked on an additional 240 months, so 20 years on top of those life sentences. Woo. Those 20 years have to be served after the life sentences. Woo. The reason Judge Cahill executed that sentence today, he said, in case the laws ever change, he never wants two men ever getting out of That's prison. right. 